My Adele concert ticket in 2011 was $34. Ah, wow. Back in the day when being a fan meant you could actually afford to see what you liked. This vaguely threatening fortune I got today. Enjoy yourself while you can. Enjoy the day while it lasts. This rock in my neighborhood. That has got to be the most suspicious looking rock I have ever seen. I'm sorry, Solid Snake, but you can't transfer your sneaking tactics to the real world. I took a picture of a birch branch bent at right angles. Ooh, quick, cut it down and show it to Andrew Tate. It'll blow his mind. It's just a matrix. This is evidence. We're all in a matrix. Found this beauty in my backyard. Oh my god. It's a snow leopard with wings. Or just a moth. But it could be a snow leopard, you don't know. Came across a caterpillar nest. Oh man, I'm getting itchy just looking at this image. It also looks like just thousands of eyes, which is extra creepy. On a side note, I never knew caterpillars were in groups like this. I mean, I guess it makes sense as a survival tactic being a big, hairy, itchy thing together. The more you look like a man who's never showered, the more everything tries to stay away from you. Chew toys and other bit brought to my backyard by urban foxes over the course of a year. We got ball, 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 dog toy, elephant toy, and the last person that crossed them. The five and six leaf clovers I found. At that point, they are no longer clovers. They are a salad. Double rainbow visible after today's rain. Is it a beautiful sight or are you tripping balls. Better ask Petunia Gobsmackle beside you. You know, that unicorn friend who tells you to burn things? This road crossing for stones in Switzerland. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> there is a place that has a crossing for rocks. I just, I, as someone who is not at all familiar with Switzerland, I, this... Wow. I, okay, look, obviously it's at an angle, so they're going to be rolling down. It's a safety thing. I just, I love the idea that it's a rock crossing. It's not a roof protecting civilians from hazards. No, no, no. It's all about helping those innocent rock creatures migrate peacefully without getting attacked by cars. A slightly curved old door. This is one of those visual features like a curved monitor where you look at it for the first time and you're like, whoa, that's trippy. And then after like three or four times, you never notice the feature of it again? Am I reflecting on how I feel like buying a curved monitor was a waste of my money? Yes, I am. Got to see the unofficial world's largest rubber duck today. Well, why is it unofficial exactly? What's the official one? Okay, looking it up online, I mean, these two look, it looks eerily similar to the official duck, but apparently the official one, the largest, is 60 feet tall, so can't really tell in comparison, but I mean, I feel like they're relatively the same. Though I guess it's missing the other notable features as to be the largest of something. It's not in Australia, and it's not in some random rural town that no one ever really visits. This eggplant looks like a glove. Nice. A gross inflated oven mitt. My psych ward shower drain says Fiat. Okay, but, uh, why? Is that not a European car brand? Hold up. Oh, wow, okay. It's also a plumbing brand. Goldfish that appears to be angry. Oh, oh, hang on. Whoa, hang on. I'm seeing much worse than just an angry goldfish. I'm seeing a very tiny mustache and a black comb over guys <laughs> hang on well what's going on here why is that fin raised up this soccer ball with all of these tiny guys <gasps> yes you're tiny and cute i mean damn are they some sort of armada i kind of want to smack my hand on the ball not to hurt them but just to, to watch them all bounce away this haribo gummy centipede oh what did someone at the manufacturing plant just screw up their job and was like oh no no nah, boss it's it's a new idea yeah we were doing this on purpose I Call it the gummy bear. Gummy one. centipede. Oh yeah, that's better. The size of an IUD for cows. Wait, we have IUDs designed for cows? I, uh, since when? I'll be very disappointed if we give some sort of tax exemption to these products for farmers and, you know, not to human women. Saw this house that looks like a koala. It certainly does. And whatever you're doing, it's not impressed. This ladybug that landed on me last week at work. Oh, it's adorable. Did you know they actually can't be squished if you press them with your fingers? Go ahead, try it. No, don't actually try it. Don't, no, no, no. The inside of my zipper says, lucky you. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, there's just something gross <laughs> when it's written on clothing. I don't know. Like, oh, wow, you were that prepared this was going to happen? Okay. My ring finger on my left hand has a decidedly different mood than the other three. Yep, so one of your fingers has a uh, developing frostbite. Either you 
you have the ability to shoot ice from that one finger or it's gonna be coming off soon. Oignon Infinity. There it is. The Infinity Oignon. Legends have told of its never-ending flavor, its unending caloric nutritional value, which sounds cool on the surface, but then you consider the fact that it's constantly there, constantly emitting calories, creating more than your body can naturally burn. Your risk of diabetes skyrockets, your body overheating from working overtime just to try and burn the damn thing, but it never ends. My orange had a single slice that grew incorrectly. Oh, <laughs> your orange has a mohawk. Or a tumor. One of those. Now you could be cautious and maybe avoid eating that part, or... This Philadelphia street was once paved with wood blocks. Wood blocks? Wow. I mean, in a world of literal stone, they chose the material that... <laughs> okay, look, we can't talk. We literally have houses with wooden floors. It, uh, it's understandable. Someone left a picture of Pedro Pascal in a book I checked out. Hey, I'm Pedro Pascal. Just reminding you, orange resucked. What? You're welcome. My friend's dad found a crab holding a Donatello Pez dispenser. Psst, hey, let me go. I'll let you have a Pez. But only one? You can only have one Pez. This Pikachu-themed old ladder somewhere in Mex <laughs> Mexico. God, in Moscow. God damn, that is retro. You can tell because it isn't denying you entry into the vehicle just because it's updating how to use the windshield wipers. The way these flowers only grow in one spot. Man, it's stuff like this that like, gardeners need to be more of a respectful profession in the community and towns in general. They're like the painters of the architecture of the, the town, really. The power and knowledge to be able to influence these flowers to grow all over this field of grass. I mean, you know how much cooler that would look. Come on, gardeners deserve so much respect for what they do. The popcorn I have doesn't have calorie information. Calorie information, there are worse vices in life than delicious handcrafted popcorn. Life is short, eat the dank popcorn. That's not how that works. Like, hey, drug company, I want to put your drugs in my mouth. Can I know what's in them? Oh, uh, hi, hi, liar, liar, what's in life? It's just, um, it's short. Uh, life's short, eat. E uh, yeah, fine. Life's good. This row of shoes in savers my friend found. How you can tell when it's a quiet enough day that the staff members have nothing else to do. This sign wraps around the corner to direct you in dimensional space. Whoa, that's actually a really cool design. Though actually, you know what? No, I'm I'm kind of confused. With the whole splitting down the middle, is that implying that only the women's restroom is in that direction? And in which case, w w where's the men's restroom? It. Oh my God, is it the wall? This leaf had weird red spikes all over it. I do not like how much they look kind of like little fingers. Just. Ugh. No, no, I'm not gonna touch you, Leaf. I'm good. I don't know what kind of spores you're gonna be protruding in a second. My dog's eye is star-shaped. Okay, if you did not name your dog something to do with stars, you have failed as a parent and as a human being who loves to name things really weird dramatic names. Let's go, Porn Star. What? He has paws. And he's got a star. He's a paw star. This horizontal tape dispenser. Ew, why? Why? Did, what? Why? It's like you wanted to make things more difficult. Cleaned up a vintage TV found in the woods. Very nice. This will look aesthetically pleasing when the bombs all drop and you have to live in a Fallout-style existence. 